Alma Ibanez Maglasa, a first-year Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in science student of Cebu Normal University, main campus. Today, we will do an experiment about pressure. Are you ready? So this experiment is called fountain ball. And for that, we will need some materials. The first one is, of course, a balloon. Or you can also use a small ball, whichever is available to you. A water or a bottle of water and a pointed thing, in which in my case, I will use this needle. You can also use a pen, thumbtack, or anything that is pointed. Okay, so these are just the materials that we will use in the experiment. Now, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to fill the rubber ball or balloon with water. Let's fill some water. So, it's already filled with water. Now, let's tie the balloon. This is exciting. Okay, it's already tied. Now, let's pierce holes in the ball or balloon in different areas with the use of any pointed thing and we'll use this needle. So what you can see there's water coming out now press the rubber ball or balloon hard as what you can see oh there are a lot of water hard harder so there you go the water came out of the balloon now there's no more water oh <laughs> there's no more water so just simple as that and that can be explained by pressure so when we squeeze the balloon we are applying pressure on it. The water came out through the holes of the balloon when pressure was applied. Pressure, so this is pressure. Pressure. And upon receiving the same pressure, the water squeezed out of the balloon equally in all holes. Mauto siya ni Serit sila ang tubig gikan sa balloon. And this event can be explained by Pascal's law or principle and it states that when the pressure is applied on one point or part of a confined liquid which is the water inside this balloon it will be transmitted equally or without any change in all directions therefore when the balloon was squeezed the water came out through the holes uniformly so that's all for today Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something about pressure. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.